at the National Tropical Botanical Garden on the beautiful island of Kauai. I'm with Mike Demota, who is the curator of living collections here. NTBG has a long history with native plant conservation going back to the late 1970s with some of our very well-known field botanists. Part of the vision for the Kauai Destination Management Action Plan focuses on the importance of the island's fragile ecosystems. Native plant conservation includes many things, in, in, uh, documenting uh, flora of Hawaii, for example, doing all that field work, making collections and, and locating where they are, and uh, describing ecosystems is a very, very important aspect. One of the other important things we do here is uh, uh, conservation of our canoe plants. The Hawaiians were part of a long tradition of seafaring and discovery. They learned to travel with their own food and, and medicinal supplies, so to all the islands, in Polynesia, they brought about two dozen kinds of plants that were used as either food, fiber, or medicinal sources. Coconuts, taro, sweet potatoes, breadfruit, to name just a few. The conservation of the biology of an island and the cultural values of the, of the people that live on that place uh, is something that is kind of in tune with uh, traditional ways of life all over the world. Polynesians uh, generally, and the Hawaiians in particular, learn to live on islands. And so they learn to live in concert with the islands. When they arrived, they didn't do things that would upset the ecosystem because they realized they depended on it. They understood how important it was to maintain the watershed and their agricultural practices and their lifestyles actually helped to enhance ecosystem function. You can kind of tell which plants were really important in Hawaiian culture by the diversity in the cultivars that we have today. Now with taro, we all you know, grew up eating poi here and uh, there's only about three or four varieties of taro that are grown for poi. They're, they produce a very good quality poi, they're very high yielding, so they you know, can be profitable for the farmers. But there's a you know, hundred other varieties at least that don't have the same characteristics. And as a botanical garden, I've always felt that it's our responsibility to continue to grow these other varieties because with the climate change, we don't know which varieties of taro are gonna be useful in the future. What are some of the biggest threats to our native species? Right now, a huge threat to our native species are invasive species, invasive uh, pathogens, uh, and for example, with ohia, the rapid ohia death. But then there's, of course, feral pigs and goats and deer trampling in the forest, eating up uh, everything on the ground. Then uh, invasive plants and trees, uh, they are uh, aggressive and they replace uh, our native plants very, very easily. The loss of our native species, particularly up in the watershed, would be detrimental to, to us even living here. You know, everybody can, can contribute. By planting a few native plants in your yard, you're providing habitat for even native insects, which are an important part of the ecosystem. And people can also come down here to the National Tropical Botanical Gardens and get more information. They can come and take some tours. You can go on our garden's website and read about the tours that are available here. Uh, you can also go on our garden website to see how um, you can help NTBG.